Hello, Candy Canes. It is Marriage Monday. Marriage Monday. Um, <laughs> um, we're going to quickly just talk about forgiveness really quick, guys. So um, my name is Candy J. I am a certified clinical sexologist through the Dr. Rachel Institute in the American Colleges of Sexology. I am also a premarital counselor, a wedding officiant, a marriage counselor. Um, I focus on putting the oohs and the ahs and back into your relationship, but I do this by helping you to foster better communication, learning love languages, um, whew, using all kinds of communication tools, right? And um, I help teens with anxiety, um, young adults with anxiety. I'm definitely a sex educator um, and, you know, just all around mental health, right? And so I just want to say... You know, unforgiveness is like swallowing a drop of poison every day, waiting for the other person to die. Think about it. Just pause. Think about it for 5.2 seconds. Unforgiveness is like swallowing a drop of poison every day, waiting for the other person to die. Whom in your life are you holding a grudge against? What steps are you taking to work on releasing your bitterness? And so a little tip about unforgiveness, guys, if you um, make a conscious effort to forgive that person every single day until you actually feel it in your soul. And let's take, for instance, um, if you've ever been here before, you know, I am a domestic survivor, um, domestic violence survivor. Right. And so I don't hold any grudges against my ex-husband. He put his hands on me more than one time and um, I literally had to say I forgive you for I forgive you for putting your hands on me I forgive you for putting me through a wall I forgive you for putting your hands on me in front of our kid I forgive you for um, calling me out of my name and and uh, pushing me through a wall I forgiving you for becoming like the incredible Hulk and taking the hinge off of our door and scaring the bejesus out of me. I literally had to say that over and over and over again until I felt it in the pit of my stomach that I was really actually forgiving them because forgiveness is not for the other person. It's for you. I don't hold any bitterness. I don't hold any resentment. I don't hold any anger for him at all. But guess what? I had to learn how to forgive and it's not an easy thing but it's something that you commit to daily sometimes moment by moment minute by minute second by second at times and are you gonna fall down absolutely and is something gonna make you angry all over again absolutely but guess what if you choose forgiveness on a daily basis Eventually, you will actually forgive that person and you'll feel it in the pit of your stomach and you will be able to move on with your life and you won't be bogged down by bitterness and sadness and anger and resentment and all of those things that cause you to be physically and mentally ill. Okay, so that was just my quick tidbit about forgiveness, guys. Um, come back for more mental health tips, marriage tips, couples tips, anxiety tips, and just all around mental health. This has been your girl, Candy J. Have a wonderful Monday, and I'll be